Guess how many Texans speak a language other than English at home? It's one out of three. Almost half of those aren't bilingual enough that they can do business in English without someone's help translating or interpreting. Have you ever visited another country where you didn't speak the language? I used to teach English overseas, and it was always such a comfort to find stores with signs in English and staff I could understand. That's where I spent my money. They weren't obligated to open their doors to English speakers, but they did, and it turned out to be a good investment on their part. As I travel around Texas, I see a lot of Spanish bilingual staff in retail and working the phones or reception counters. That's a great first step. Some businesses also put up signs in English and Spanish. But when it comes to the brochures, ads, websites, forms, and agreements, there's either nothing in Spanish or it's been run through Google Translate and communicates only one message clearly. We don't care. Google Translate is amazing and useful technology. It's good for getting the gist of a website in a language you don't speak or for writing a note to send home with your kid's friend who just moved to the US, setting up a play date or something. It's also handy for reading words aloud when you're trying to remember how to pronounce your high school French. But when your business materials are simply run through a free instant translation site, no one is impressed anymore. It doesn't set you apart from your competition. And sometimes it reads more like this actual description on a foreign made lamp. The product design is used international popularly, is succinct, and the technique that the line is easy and smooth and possesses the beautiful to look at and fine and elegant fitut. So if you're going with free online translation, at least please get a native speaker of that language to read and correct it. Even better, someone who has a college degree from a country where that is a dominant language. You wouldn't want an ad agency to write English copy for you if the writers had grown up overseas and just learned English at home, right? or had taken a couple semesters in college. If you can do all this without spending a dime, wonderful. Maybe you have staff who's fluent and educated in the second language. But here's the secret. Choose your translators as carefully as you choose your accountant or IT support or attorney if you want to send the right message to other language communities in your market. Just because a prospective client doesn't speak English doesn't mean she's uneducated or indifferent to the way your business handles her language. Real respect for your clients means respect for their culture too. And making that respect clear from the first glance at your written materials will set you apart from your competition instantly.